Ford Maverick Maniac here and I'm here to talk about the build and price website and specifically the items that Ford shows that you will receive in 2024 models however from what I understand those items are being discontinued or changed so I th hope Ford is watching because they need to fix this I mean people could argue that they expected these items on their build and why did you not build it the way your website promised for it? So here is mini spare tire on the standard build. This is the XLT version. When I select all wheel drive and 4K tow, full size spare included, so that's good. But it doesn't show full size spare on this list. Not that big a deal. $115 option to add a full-size spare is now included in the $745 price but there's some other things that are not accurate luxury package items that are included there's no more leather wrapped steering wheel and there's no more windshield wiper de-icer. So Ford needs to correct this. Unfortunately, this is a bummer losing this de-icer if you live in the cold. Because that's a defroster heat grid. It's like an electric heat grid that sits down low in the windshield, right below where the rubber wiper blades are located. And that heat grid heats the bottom of this glass to melt the ice. Otherwise, when your wipers go up and down, you're going to get a lot of streaks if ice is stuck to them. See, and this says full-size spare included with the Lux Pack only on hybrid. I really don't understand why it only applies to hybrid. Why not just make full-size spare standard across the board? But now if you get 4K tow, with the EcoBoost, the full-size spare is included, but the people who have front-wheel drive turbocharged EcoBoost probably don't realize they're going to have a donut. So that's a small minority of the builds that they should just make sure everybody has a full-size spare. Now let's look at what's different in the 2024 Lariat that is not showing accurately on the build and price website. So we know that now all wheel drive is standard on the Lariat, unless you opt for the hybrid engine, which this year is pretty much a mistake because there's, there's a long line of 2023 order holders that are converting and uh, the capacity for hybrid is probably already consumed by most of those people so if you want a Maverick this year I would order the all-wheel drive if you want one next year the hybrids will probably be more readily available Lariat luxury package not correct for 2024 even though this is a 2024 build and price guide it's also saying just like the XLT luxury pack that you get a windshield wiper to icer. Uh, for some reason they eliminated them. I'm sure it's a matter of cost. Without it, it'll take a long time for the air blowing on the windshield to melt that ice. And it seems like it'd be a simple thing for Ford to edit the lists of items included to be able to correct it properly. 
And you may have heard that the keyless entry keypad that goes on the outside of the door was previously announced as being completely discontinued, but now Ford is allowing you to add it back. Just this one separate upgrade as an option. It says it's a dealer installed option. It doesn't say a price, so maybe they're including it at no extra charge for people who want it. Available on all trim. Oh, all trims. That's nice. So even an XL can get the keypad. I tell you, I use it all the time. When you have a keypad on the outside of the door right here, it allows you to, you know, go for a run without having to find a place to put your key in your running shorts or tied to your shoelace. Um, it allows you to go hiking, camping. We use it when we go skiing. So it's nice to be able to not have to worry about losing the key somewhere on the mountain. Yes, you have an app. You can use the app on your phone to lock and unlock the doors. But if all of the people that are in your car, even if it's just two of you, and only one of you has the app, that means the other person can't get into the Maverick. So having the keypad is handy because if you're going to two different stores, the first one back to the Maverick can get in. If you're um, going skiing and you get separated, first one back to the Maverick can still get in. And there's, there's just so many uses for having that keypad on the outside. It's a keyless entry system, just like the app on your phone is keyless entry. But the other potential problem with the app on your phone, and I think it works great, but the other potential problem is if your phone's dead, that app does not work. Just make sure you do not use your zip code as the five digit code on the keypad, because that would be a little bit too obvious. You know, maybe use your parents' zip code or somebody else's zip code, but not yours. Okay? All right. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.